Nadine Mullings. She's passionate about helping small business owners achieve their dreams by assisting them to successfully market and promote their business. She has over 15 years of experience in marketing, including online and offline marketing strategies and tactics. Nadine holds a master's degree in business administration with a specialization in e-commerce from Florida Atlantic University and a bachelor's degree in business administration with a marketing major from the University of Florida. She uses both her experience and education to assist small business owners to promote their brands using email marketing, social media management, video marketing, business events, and more. Her clients have included independent representatives for Primerica, Park Lane Jewelry, Party Light, Mish, is that how it's? Michi. And she has worked for corporate brands including Delta Vacations, Continental Airlines Vacations, and Auto Branch. And I'm happy to say we also work together. She does my email marketing, social media, and helps me with my newsletter. So really happy to have her speak today. And he's my speaking coach. <laughs> Did I mess up today? <laughs> Talk to her, right? Again, I am Nadine Mullins, and I am the virtual marketing director with Marketing Essentials. And as Eric mentioned, I help home-based small business owners to market and promote their businesses, both online and offline. And this morning, I'm going to focus on an online strategy. And the online strategy is email marketing. But before I get started on the presentation, I wanted to find out how many people here are currently using email marketing to, uh, or email to market and promote their business um, on a regular basis. So a couple of people are consistently using some type of email marketing to reach out to their clients. So whether you're currently using email marketing or you're thinking about using email marketing, this presentation is going to help. It's kind of old-fashioned to use flip chart, but it gets the point across. I love flip charts. <laughs> yeah, everyone's into the PowerPoint presentations now, but sometimes you need the old-fashioned things. So this morning, I'm going to talk to you about the three C's to get amazing results from your email marketing. Now the first C really has to do with your email list. And you guys are gonna participate, you're gonna actually help me with this list. The first C has to do with your email list itself. And the first word begins with the letter C-O-N. Any ideas what that first C could be? Contact. Contact, Contact. you guys are good. <laughs> Okay, Eric's immune to this because we heard this presentation. So your first C is going to be your contacts. That's your email list, your subscribers, the people that have opted in. And it's very important that they've opted in. A lot of times people just add people to their email list, but you want people that are going to engage with your business. They're going to be interested in what you have to say. So you want them to opt in and give you permission to email to them. So make sure that your contacts have opted in. And one of the key things that you want to do is grow your email list. It's very important to continue to put email addresses on your list and grow it. But don't be so focused on the amount of people that you have on your email, email list. A lot of people get um, tied up in, oh, I only have 10 people on my list, or I only have 100 people on my list. Don't get so focused on the number. Because at the end of the day, it really is about the quality of the people on your list, not the quantity. Focus on the types of people. So that's the main focus that you want to do with your contacts. Now the second C actually has to do with the email itself. And it just so happens that that word starts with C-O-N too. Any ideas on the body of the email? What would you find that Content. Content. All right. It's good. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> you guys have probably heard the saying that content is king. So content really is king. What that means is the information that you have in your email needs to be informative, it needs to be educational, in some ways it needs to also be entertaining. Um, so that way your email subscribers will be happy to open your email every month because they know the information that they're going to get and the content that you provide is excellent. So it's very important to focus on what is the content in my email, what am I telling my email subscribers? Is it good information? Is it something that they're going to be interested in reading every month or every day or however often that you send out your email? So be sure to concentrate on the content within your email. Now the third C actually has to do with the email itself um, or how often um, you send out your email. 
So again, it's a C letter that starts with C-O-N. Any ideas on the third C for your email marketing? Consistency. Consistency. Wow. You guys are good. <laughs> Consistency. Now this is key. What I see happen is a lot of small business owners say, oh, I'm going to start email marketing, I'm going to send out an e-newsletter, or I'm going to do something. Um, and they start off really good, like we all do in life. You start off with, oh, yeah, I'm going to lose a lot of weight, and you start losing the weight, and three months down the line, you gain it all back, or you're not doing it anymore. So it's very important to be consistent with your email marketing. So whether you have a monthly e-newsletter or daily e-alerts or a bi-weekly email notice, it's very important to be consistent with getting that information out to your subscriber list. And what that really shows is that you're an organization or a company that's reliable, trustworthy, uh, someone that they can depend on. And those are all features that people are interested in doing uh, with companies that have those features. They're, they're interested in doing business, rather, with companies that have those features. So that's why it's very important that you're very consistent with your email marketing. So the three C's, just to repeat, your contacts, your contact list, content, which is the information within your email, and consistency, how often you're sending it out on a regular basis. Well, what I'm going to share with you today is actually a fourth and bonus C. Now, this C actually is not a C-O-N, but it has to do with the analytics or the results of your email. Any ideas of what this C word? I had to stump you guys. You're good on the first three. <laughs> the analytics or the results would be, it's kind of a hard one. It's actually, it's important to compare. So a lot of times people will send out their emails or their e-newsletter and they don't look at the results. So they don't look at how many people actually opened the email, how many people actually clicked on the content within the email. They don't look at the analytics or the results of their email. It's very important to do that and to not only look at it but to compare it. You want to compare it to the industry average. So say for example if you're a financial advisor. Um, you want to look at what's the industry average for most financial advisors' emails when they send it out to their subscriber list. How many people actually usually open it? So you can gauge whether you're below average or above average. In addition to comparing it to the industry average, you also want to compare it from month to month. So in March, did you have a better open rate than you did in April? In April, did you have a lower rate than May? You need to look at those statistics so you can determine what actually made those changes a factor? You know, was it the subject line that you used? Was it the time of day that you sent out the email? The only real way to know the answer to those questions is really to compare your results. So again, the three C's and a bonus one to get amazing results from your email marketing. Contacts, content, consistency, and compare. Important to compare your results. Now I actually have a lot more uh, tips under each section, like how to grow your email list. People always ask me, how do I grow my email list? How do I get more people on my email list? I do have some tips on that. How to get engaging content. You know, people want to open your email. They want to hear more from you. You have to have that engaging content. So I actually give you some tips on engaging content. And I give you tips on um, actually what you need to be looking at in your analytics. Your, how you need to be comparing your results and the key things you need to look at. So if you want to get those additional tips, I actually have a checklist with 21 things you must do to get amazing email marketing results. All you have to do is email me, nadine at nadinemullings.com, just put in the subject line checklist, and I'll send you a link to download the 21 uh, checklist of things you can do to get amazing results with your email marketing. And if anyone's on Twitter, also on Twitter, so you can follow me at the handle at Nadine Mullins. I'm always giving out email marketing tips and marketing tips in general on Twitter. So if you are on Twitter, please follow me at, at Nadine Mullins. And with that, um, I'll go ahead and open it up to any questions.